Hey everyone, Apple Orchard here, and today Apple has released iOS 17.3. And to be honest, it's kind of mid-update, but there's still a couple of things that you would want to know about it, including a feature I would turn on right away once the phone turns on after updating. Let's get started. The first thing in this update is a feature for Apple Music users. So if you go into Apple Music right here, you'll be able to create a playlist. And in fact, I'm gonna do something right now, and there's something new with playlists right here. If I make this fan playlist and click on create, and then click on this little icon up here, right here, you'll be able to invite people to join your playlist and collaborate in it. So I'm going to be starting collaboration, and then I'm gonna be showing you the QR code, and I want you to add music to it. So if I tap after generating it, I can create a QR code. There you go, scan it if you like, take a screenshot, and I'll also be leaving the link down in the description down below. Please add music to this playlist, because why not? I want to see what your guys' taste of music is. All right, so other things about the custom playlist. So I am in a custom playlist in the MacRumors community, and basically you can also react to it. So if I wanted to, I can react to this song right here. So basically I just go into here, and then I can click this button right here, and I'll be able to react to it. So I haven't heard this song, I'm not gonna listen to it right now, but I'm just gonna do, so I'm gonna do that reaction right there, go on to the next one right here, and you're also able to add any emoji you want with this plus button. So for example, if I wanted to do this emoji, that one, because why not? You're able to do that. I wanna see your guys' opinion of the song I'm gonna be adding to the playlist real fast. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna be adding it to this playlist, and then I'm gonna be adding it to the fan playlist. If you react to this song, you just go play it, and you can react to it however you want. Just let me know what your opinion on the song is down in the collaborative playlist. Now, the second feature is a new feature called Stolen Device Protection. Upon updating, you're gonna be seeing a new screen that says Stolen Device Protection. Even though it says it's beta and everything, you still want to turn it on. The reason is because it will make sure your device is protected from people stealing it. Alright, so what will happen is if you see me type in my very secure password right here, you will not be able to change it. As long as you're not at my house or at work or anything like that. And you need to be in these locations or else you won't just be able to go into settings, face ID and passcode, enter your password right here. And you won't be able to just be able to change it right here. So if I do change the passcode and do that, it will ask you to please enter your Apple ID and it's just a lot more secure now. So this is why I think you should turn on this feature as soon as possible. And something else is they won't be able to change your Apple ID either. For example, if I go in here and then sign in security, you will not be able to change the password if you are not in that significant location with the passcode. So going in right here, I'll ask for iPhone passcode. It will not ask you to do this. This is called security delay. And basically this is what this new feature does. So turn this on as soon as possible. Now next thing is we have a brand new wallpaper inside of here. If you were to go into here, you're going to see this Unity Bloom. It's February, so Apple needs to release a new wallpaper and for Black History Month. And this is the wallpaper that we have. It has all these different variations. We have a multicolor variation and a Unity variation. So I kind of like the multicolor one, or I also really like the Unity one. I haven't decided which one I like. And you could also change the time and everything like that. Add widgets, which by the way, if you want really good widgets, you can download Widgetpedia and you can place a bunch of widgets for your lock screen right here and also on your home screen. So yeah, I really like this wallpaper. I'm gonna do the multicolor options and I'm going to be doing this and making it look like my actual lock screen. And yeah, that is a brand new wallpaper inside of this update. Now the next thing has to do with AirPlay. If I were to go into here, go into general and then AirPlay, you will be able to be able to use at certain hotels, like very new hotels and stuff like that, if they have the latest LG TV and more TVs yet to come, you'll be able to AirPlay to your hotel room. So you won't need to bring an Apple TV, you can just use your iPhone. It just makes things a lot more convenient. I'm gonna be looking for hotels to use this feature with in the near future. So hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of this fe feature. Maybe I won't for a while, but we'll see what happens. If I was a hotel owner, I would definitely invest in this feature just cause why not? But yeah, that's just me. Now the next thing is we got a couple of bug fixes. So the first bug fix has gotten pretty popular. So if you were to go into here, go like this, do this weird thing and then scroll out while while you're doing it and then go back in. It no longer makes your phone hang. That bug has been fixed. Also, that is pretty out of date. 
I think it's eight. I'll be checking to make sure. Wikipedia, by the way. So, and if you have an iPhone 14 or 15 series, crash detection has been updated yet again, just so it doesn't cause false triggers. It's basically at this point that crash detection is just getting optimized and optimized even more. And Apple has done a rebrand inside of system settings. If we were to go into the general section, you're gonna see this now says Apple Care and Warranty. So if you go into here, you're gonna see all your devices that you can change and manage the Apple Care. For example, if I wanted to renew the Apple Care on my iPad, I could do that straight from my phone. It's just a lot more convenient and you won't need to download the Apple Support app. However, I would still recommend having the Apple Support. But yeah, these are all the brand new features inside of iOS 17.3. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Download my apps, Wikipedia, and Saudi Direct. They're both completely free down in the description down below. And then you can watch the macOS video up there, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.